Good evening guys, it is Friday the 18th of May today. I say evening, it's uh, just coming up to half past seven now. Uh, finished work, went home, had something to eat. Uh, I've come down for an evening session again to uh, to try and avoid the boats, which I've done so far. I haven't seen a boat, I haven't seen a single person, I haven't seen a dog walker, absolutely nothing. But unfortunately, I also haven't seen any fish or any signs of fish. Um, I've come back to the spot uh, from the previous video for obvious reasons. Um, there was carp here, we caught hybrid, we caught some bream. But as I say, I've turned up tonight and there's nothing going on at all. The place is flat calm and there's no fizzing, there's no nothing happening at all. Not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I really would like to catch a carp from the canal. Uh, it's only, you know, just left, been a month left now, four weeks left till uh, the river season opens. Uh, I think it's probably four weeks today. So, you know, my efforts will go there, uh, down to the Avon, once the season opens. So really, four weeks to try and catch a carp and a nice zander from the canal. So as I say, I'm back here again, same spot. Uh, what I've done this time though, uh, I've left the Zander gear at home. Uh, it really is gonna be a, a carp session, but I have brought the float rod with me as well. So what I've done is uh, come to almost exactly the same spot. I've moved a tiny bit uh, to where I'm not gonna keep smacking my rod in the tree like I did the last session. Uh, I only made move maybe two meters, something like that. Um, I've put some ground bait in uh, and I'm gonna fish over the top of it. And what I've done is, uh, as it was apparent there's no fish here, it is I've sort of spread it over the middle sort of third of the canal uh, in, a, in a bit of a line to, to hopefully intercept any fish as they move up and down. I've brought uh, a couple of carp rods with me, as I say. Uh, they're both fished helicopter style. I've got mega method feeder on. Uh, one of them's got a pop-up on it um, and the other one has got a wafter on it. Salty squid pop-up and what I've done is broken a couple of boilies up and put them in the, in the mega method feeder um, and cast that one a little bit sort of to the far edge of the baited area. Oh, getting a bite. <laughs> Well, I missed that, but I had a bite on the float. So as I was saying, uh, first dog walker of the evening gone past. Um, salty squid pop-up, which is fished on the far edge of the bait. And I've got uh, the krill wafter fish sort of pretty much in the middle of the bait here. All I'm gonna do is just sort of float fish on the top, uh, or oh, on the top of the bait, I mean. Um, just off bottom, as I did last time, just see what happened. Let's say we just had a bite then. Uh, I missed it, I don't know what it was. Um, but uh, I'm gonna get over there and concentrate and uh, see if I can't put something on the bank. That was quick. Wow. He's off. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Stop. me. Coming back this way. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I presume it's one of these turbocharged bream again. Perhaps. 
absolutely crazy. If it is a bream, I've never had a bream fight like this now bream in here, dude. strange. Yeah, last time we were catching, it was fizzing like crazy, wasn't it? Not a bubble has come up. That's another lovely hybrid. <laughs> what a scrap as well. He's charged to the debated area a couple of times, so I don't think it's done the carp fishing any good, but uh, look at him. Beautiful, beautiful hybrid. And as a hybrid, as I say, what a fight. Definitely got that anal fin of a bream, but uh, looks very much like a roach. <laughs> Brilliant, we're off the mark.
Well, it looks like they're here now, but uh, no fizzing, absolutely nothing at all. Anyway, this one's very lively. I'm going to get him back in the water. <laughs> Well, this is about 8.30 now. Um, we've got that hybrid and the bream. Um, but since then, it's all gone a bit quiet. That was probably half an hour ago I had that bream. Um, so what seems to have happened is, um, there's, you know, a few fish have moved in, had a feed, and um, I guess by catching a couple, I've spooked them. Um, what I've done is I've just recast the other the two carp rods. Uh, I've kept the one on the salty squid pop-up. Uh, the other one, uh, because I'm fishing that one pretty much on the baited area, uh, near where I'm float fishing, uh, I've put a big bunch of maggots on there, a couple of buoyant ones, just to negate the weight of the hook, um, and then sort of four or five on the hook, <coughs> and the two buoyant ones on a hair, size 10 hook. Um, just in case, uh, as I'm finding with the other fish and I did the other night, because I'm throwing a, you know, a few mag maggots in every couple of minutes, you might get a little bit preoccupied on the maggots, so that's why I've done that. And the other one is a little bit further out, perhaps two thirds of the way across the canal, something like that, on the far edge of the baited area, uh, just in case the carp are a little bit wary to come in. Um, I'm trying to be as quiet as possible, but uh, you know, there's the odd clunk and heavy footstep. When I had the rods in, I had a little look uh, up around the bend there and, and oh, had a little look up that way, but uh, there's nothing really moving at all. Um, it's starting to get a little bit colder now as well, so so now that might help pick things up perhaps. Who knows? We, you know the clouds only about three foot deep, so probably react to to a change <laughs> to a change in the uh, in the air temperature a little bit. Um, and it has been hot for for a few days now, so we'll see. Hopefully we can have some more fish, and so I'd love to love to catch a carp or even a nice roach. That'd be fantastic as well. So we'll see. Well, I just got all excited then. <laughs> Thought it was a nice roach, but uh, <laughs> there's this little fella. <laughs> little skimmer. <laughs> Never mind. He popped to the top and I thought, oh, it's a nice roach. Oh. <laughs> Well guys, it's half nine, uh, nothing's happened since we had that skimmer, uh, not a bite, nothing at all, until about five minutes ago when uh, a couple of fish have rolled, uh, maybe, I don't know, five metres uh, along the canal. So, uh, just thinking about perhaps it's time to go home, uh, but I think I'll give it at least another half an hour, I think we'll see what happens in the next half an hour, um, hopefully. You know, we can we can put something on the bank and, uh, you know, with with there being no disturbance from me catching smaller fish, uh, you know, maybe the, uh, the carp will have the confidence to come in and uh, have a bit of a feed. But the bats are flying, <laughs> getting a fantastic aerial display, so I'm going to sit back and enjoy that. Well, guys, it's just gone 10 o'clock. Uh, I've had enough, to be honest, and uh, nothing else has happened. Um, since that skimmer and then a couple of fish rolled um, absolutely nothing places like a morgue so I'm, uh, I'm not going to sit here in the dark 
<laughs> getting cold for no reason. Uh, I was aiming to go home this sort of time anyway, so you know, suits me fine. So I think the plan now will be to come out again Sunday morning. Now Anastasia, uh, my daughter, has been badgering me to bring her out again. Uh, now the weather's warmed up. So I think I'm going to bring her out Sunday morning. Uh, we'll get her up at uh, some ridiculous hour, like quarter past four or something. Get down here um, for before five o'clock so we can, we can have three or four hours before the boats start. Uh, and hopefully she can catch some of these uh, hybrids and bream and stuff that I've been catching. And we may even sneak a carp out off the top if, uh, if the weather's sunny. So uh, that's the plan, I think, from uh, for Sunday, should I say. So um, I shall see you again, most probably with Anastasia, most probably Sunday morning, and most probably in this very same spot. Well, good morning guys. It is Sunday the 20th, uh, as promised, down here again. Come to the same spot, and as you can see, Anastasia's come with me. We've dragged ourselves out of bed at four o'clock in the morning. Um, as you probably just saw as well, the uh, the plan to come here has, has paid off already. What <clears throat> I did fancy going somewhere else, but then I thought, well, Anastasia's uh, seen me catching these bream and these hybrids, and she fancies coming here. And also having fished it 36 hours ago on Friday evening, um, you know, I knew that there was going to be some bait still around and we've turned up, it's uh, about 20 past 5 now in the morning, we've walked up here um, and literally we've got Anastasia's float rod sorted out, cast her in and I haven't even got the uh, another rod set up and uh, she's had a fish already. Not a monster, but very lively, which is why she wants me to, to hold it, but uh, there we go, it's a great start, the skimmer. Just about not a skimmer, isn't it? But that's great if there's, uh, if there's one of it, these here. Should be plenty more. So that's brilliant. Let's get, uh, get the rods back in the water. Should be all right now. Trust me, kneel down, you're better off. Well, guys, it's not taking long, is it? <laughs> Almost got my float rod in this time, and just, Anastasia's had another one. <laughs> She's just seen how much uh, slime's gone all over the line and uh, decided she don't want to hold it. <laughs> Fantastic. The right lump is really fat, this one. Got a right belly on him. But unfortunately, along with the, uh, the spawning marks, as you can see, he's uh, obviously been spawning, or she, should I say. I think uh, that's a fairly unmistakable mark on the gill cover there. This looks uh, reasonably old, but uh, looks like three claws to me. 
unfortunately, but we've seen it more and more, aren't we? But uh, it's just the way it is these days. But anyway, that's brilliant if these guys are here. And as I say, very fat. May still have some spawn in there, so we're going to get it back. When you get a bite, it's because of these trees and everything, and because of the fact that it's so shallow, it's easier if you, well, it's better if you just stay kneeling down. Okay. Otherwise, you put a real funny angle on the fish. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get him out of there when you can. Get, get a bit of, if it's coming over here, then it's coming over here. But... <laughs> don't, don't bring any more lines. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> if it's a hybrid, I'm so happy. No. Ah. Could I have a net, please? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh, what is that? Is that really a boy? Yeah. Yes. yeah. They only get these when they're, when they're breeding. They don't have them all year. They grow them when they just feel them. Well, guys, uh, getting the right beat in here. Almost got my float rod in that time. Well, just about. <laughs> here we go. All bream so far. Three nil to Anastasia. <laughs> this one's a male this time. Covered in tubercles. Worth mentioning as well, I'm going to float fish uh, along with Anastasia. We've got a few bits and pieces, different rods. I've actually got one of the carp rods out on the back end of the spot in here, just with a boilie on, just in case some carp turn up. But I think we're going to have a bit of fun catching these today. Well guys, finally got me uh, float rod in. I actually had a roach. <laughs> Not huge, but uh, I'm not going to complain at that. That's fab. First proper roach I've had, one can I? Brilliant. There's plenty of fish in here. Floats in the water about two minutes. <laughs> Bob on the slope, wouldn't it? <laughs> I reckon this might be a hybrid that's going berserk. <laughs> oh, maybe not. It's just turbocharged bream. No, don't, don't put it hard, you've only got three pound bottom. Just let a little bit of line out. I've got a bit too much line there. No, 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 Same well, that's another one for Anastasia. Whee! This one, turbocharged. 
This is great sport in the morning. It's not even six o'clock yet. <laughs> Turbocharged one. Uh. <laughs> no, they've stopped winding me. That's it. Play, mate. Go for that, please. You're ready, yeah. <laughs> no, sir. There we are guys, just about half past six, Anastasia's first ever hybrid, first one she's ever seen actually, and this fella's very lively so we can get him back very quickly, there's definitely some bream in there and uh, definitely looks like a, a roach on steroids. <laughs> Finally! I knew I was going to get a bite there. <laughs> trying to get it out of the uh, area. Ooh, <laughs> dark one. Yay! Yay, Daddy! First ever! Oh god, he is a dark one. Oh, he's in a boy. It's quite heavy, actually, for the size of it. It's bronze, really nice. nice. Well, that's why they call them bronze green. Oh. I want to call them green. Oh, that is so hard. They rub it up. They rub it up and down the female and that makes her release her eggs. Well, I finally got one. Nice dark one this time. Nice dark male. <laughs> Brilliant. They're going crazy, aren't they? I'm just a bit concerned that as soon as the sun gets on the water, it's going to kill it. So, uh, yeah. let's make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> So guys, uh, as suspected, the baited area, uh, the sun got on it and it's just killed it dead. It was like one bite in half an hour. But uh, a little bit further along where we've moved to now, literally it's only sort of 15 metres um, up the canal. It's still in the shade and there's been quite a lot of sort of splashing and rolling going on. We thought they would breathe. So I've just had a wander up just to test the water, so to speak, quite literally. And uh, <laughs> just had this fella out. It's great. A little bit uh, weathered from spawning, but um, as you can see behind me, Anastasia's moved up as well. So uh, then we're going to fish this area. They say it's in the shade behind the trees. I think fish are a bit more confident here, and they sort of moved into the shade as this canal is only literally sort of three foot deep in the middle. So hopefully we can have a few more out before we go home. <laughs> Off at the canal. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked up by, I looked at yours, I just looked down, I was like, I'm looking. Where's the... 
direction. Oh, Look at that hydrant. Cool. Well, guys, wow. <laughs> I'm glad we moved. Look at that roach. That's fantastic. Canal roach, brilliant. At two in one morning. <laughs> I'm over the moon, that's brilliant. This new spot's definitely producing. Just a little skimmer this time. <laughs> we found the fish again. Brilliant. guys and stage his first one from the new spot lost count but I think she's still up we'll have to have a count back when we look at the video <laughs> I think she's still beating me <laughs> <laughs> oh, well guys <laughs> very unusual capture I don't catch many of these these days I used to catch these loads when I was a kid I'll try and hold him up but he's been a bit wriggly and I don't want to drop him there we are. One. Rough. <laughs> Daddy Rough, as we used to call him. Look at him. Let's put him in the sun. See him a bit better. What a surprise. I just saw a load of bubbles under a tree. I'm sure it wasn't this fella, but uh, <laughs> he liked the maggots. Brilliant. I've caught a rough for years and years. That's great. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Trying to film it. It is a carbon not I had a brain doing this to me the other day. Maybe it's a half hybrid. Ah, why'd you have to splash me? Uh. 
Oh guys, I've just had a wander back up to the, the original baited area and uh, as you saw, I didn't take the camera with me, but I've just had this one and I think, although it's very breamy, I think that's a hybrid to be honest, because it's very long, not very deep bodied, is it like a bream? It's got the bream uh, anal fin there, but it's definitely got a bit of roach about it, I would say. And I'm pretty sure that's a hybrid. If it is, I think it's my PB. But, as you know, I don't tend to weigh stuff, but uh, it's not a bad weight for me. But that's brilliant. Give me a right scrap, as you saw as well. All over the place, charging all the way around. <laughs> Fantastic. Well guys, it's about 8.30 now. Uh, the first of the fun killing boats has gone through. Um, churned the canal to sludge and our bait's gone everywhere. But to be honest, it had gone quite uh, quite quiet anyway. So uh, we're happy to knock it on the other thing. You had a nice morning? Yeah, it was good. Um, caught lots of fish in the morning. I was quite surprised actually. When... We'll, have a, we'll have a count back. I think you caught more than me. <laughs> but that's good, we had, we, had, we had fun, which is the whole point of it, you yeah. know, the whole point of coming back here. So you knew there'd be fish about, and uh, Anastasia's caught plenty, which is good. I enjoyed it. It's great, we do seem to be on the flight path into Birmingham Airport, but uh, <laughs> apart from that, it's been a lovely, peaceful morning. It's been absolutely fantastic. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep in touch in the comments below, I'd like to hear how, how everyone else is doing. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.